Today is about understanding who we are. And if we've done our, if the research has done its job correctly, at the end of this, the res proper response is, of course that's who we are. If there's a rabbit out of the hat and it's like, ta-da, and you didn't see it coming, it's wrong. Does that make sense? You know who you are. It's just a little difficult to boil it down to something that you can move forward with with focus that's ownable and distinguishable, right? right? Usually we just know too much. It gets in our way all the time. Uh, also have the opportunity or the responsibility as being this consultant that comes in. I also have to, there, there's going to be a little bit of news that maybe doesn't feel so great. Okay? You think that's part of this too? We need to understand all that stuff. So permission, I'm going to go there a little bit. I'm not going to make a big deal of it, but, uh, uh, but I have to go there too. Um, uh, but more importantly, and that's why this video was done and it's very appropriate we're in here. Uh, there's a lot of great things about Rowan County that we need to be very excited about. I, I lead into the rest of the discussion with that point. I hope you leave today with the exact same point, right? There's a lot of great things about Rowan County. We need to be aware of it. We need to tell the world about it, okay? And that's really what this project is about. Um, I need to get us on the same page real quick as we go through research. This is a research presentation. Mm, exciting, right? Uh, so we're gonna do our best to, to make it that way though. Uh, we're gonna go through quickly a, pro a process um, uh, what the community branding process is about. Uh, many of you, I can tell by looking at you, have, have probably heard a little bit of, of our spiel before about that. Uh, we have the responsibility, though, for those of you who have not, to get us all on the same page. So if you've seen us talk at the chamber breakfast uh, like a month ago, or maybe at some of our earlier things, I have to go backwards just a little bit because everybody needs to know uh, what the branding process of a community is about, okay? <clears throat> then we're gonna go through the research results. We do not have time to go through every single question we ask everybody. You'll see how, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of run through how much research was done here in a minute. Um, we today are reporting the news. After going through all that we've learned, you need to know what are the headlines, right? What, what are the big things we learned, okay? There are pretty detailed research re, re, uh, re, uh, reports for everything that's done, uh, but today is, is about really the headlines of what we learned. Uh, we'd be here for about five hours if I took you through literally every single question of research, and you wouldn't appreciate that. Um, and, then, and then we're going to land on really our recommended brand strategy and brand platform for Rowan County. Right? Who are we? How do we, how do, where, do we need, where do we go from here strategically? Where do we go? Okay? From that, the next phase of this project will occur, which is developing messaging based on that platform. Right? Uh, themes and designs and, and uh, programs and a, a lot of opportunities where we can really start branding the community, okay? So that's what today's about. Is that what you expected? Yes, awesome, fantastic. All right, good deal. Um, so, and I, we'll t we tried our best to make sure things are, are viewable for you folks in the back, uh, but if not, there's a great open table right here, front row. And I only spit like once every five minutes, so. Here we go. All right, here we go. Uh, first of all, I want to get us on the, on the same page of what branding is about, okay? I know everybody thinks they're a branding expert. In fact, we are branding experts, okay? Uh, but the rules of branding are a little different for a community than they are for a cheer line or food line, okay? Yeah, okay. So, um, so I need to get us on the same page, okay? Branding is long-term and strategic, right? That's what we're talking about today. Long-term strategic positioning the identity and reputation of Rowan County, okay? Marketing is more short-term. It's tactical. I need something to happen right now, okay? Marketing's very important. They often get used interchangeably, but they are different, okay? Uh, it's really important that you understand that branding is about being distinctive. Marketing is not. Now, sometimes marketing is distinctive, but that's not really its goal, right? Get the sign flipper on the side of the road, you know what I'm talking about? Or the person dressed, my favorite is the per people that dress up like the Statue of Liberty to get your attention at the cash advance place, right? Um, I mean, that's not really, although that's kind of distinctive, it's actually about getting you to pay attention right now to get off the side of the road and work with them, right? Um, branding is about being unique and owning a position, okay? So I think we can all agree on that. Branding, branding is a strategic orchestration of everything you do to affect what others say about you. And that, that's kind of what we're really talking about. What do other people say about us, right? And you are also those other people, by the way. Our own residents are our other people. Right? we got to talk great about ourselves so other people will talk great about ourselves. Uh, why is this important? Choices. We have choices on where we live, where we work, where we shop, right? where we spend our money, where we visit. People have choices, and, it, and it's very competitive. Communities are, in the, you know, are competitive as well, not just the businesses. 
So uh, to recruit people to do that to our community, we, we need to have, uh, we need to stand for something. We need to be in control of our reputation instead of let other people be in control of our reputation. What is community branding and what it's not, okay? Um, community branding, this is our, our definition, it's the purposeful orchestration of a place to positively affect its image and build its reputation by exploiting and creating shared experiences that are attractive to residents, businesses, and visitors. Uh, very, very purposefully uh, constructed sense. That is what community branding is about. In other words, everything that we do to positively affect what everyone experiences in our community, which means it's whose job? Yeah, it's everybody's job. That's why we're here. It's not, uh, thank you CBB for, uh, I especially am thankful, right? Uh, thank you CBB for or orchestrating this project. But you notice there's a, there's a community branding task force that actually led the effort. CBB stayed behind the scenes. Why? You understand this isn't just about tourism. I mean, they're a marketing organization already. They can do this by themselves. They can do their marketing by themselves, but they can't brand a community. Only you all can brand a community. I really mean that, okay? Um, branding a community cannot be limited to creating a logo and catchy tagline. If I had time, I'd do my little exercise that I do. This, this project is not about a catchy logo and tagline. How many of you all go home and go, honey, you know what? I'm thinking about retiring. Why are you going to retire to that place? And the next thing you do is refer to their logo and tagline. It doesn't happen. You, the places that are memorable to you, that, that, that are distinct to you, are simply because of one easy understanding point. It's how they made you feel. The way a community makes others feel, that's where its identity exists. Right? And that's pretty, it's the experiences. That's why it's everybody's job because uh, the county commissioner or, or, a, or a city uh, council member or a CVB person can do like economic development, can work really hard to maybe bring someone in town that's interested, but they're going to stay at a hotel and they're going to go eat pizza at the Salty Caper and uh, have breakfast and they're going to run, run across frontline people. And how those frontline people make them feel when they interact with people and sit there and go, hey, is this a nice place to live? And they go, well, sure, it's a nice place to live. What do you do? Oh, well, really, I need to connect you with so-and-so over here. You know, Steve Fisher, definitely bank, man, we, can get, we need to hook you all up. That's part, that, that's real experience that makes me feel good about a place. And the unique experiences that you have, such as, you know, I haven't really been in an event place, event space like this before, right? Or uh, maybe, maybe it's going to Lazy Five and checking out the, the ranch there, right? Or maybe it's going to Morgan Ridge. Right, the unique experiences are part of that as well. Uh, that's what branding a community is about. Not a, not a logo and tag. I'm not saying they're not important. My design team would not like me right now, but let's put it in its place. If this project is about a logo and tagline, this is really a lot of profit circumstance. Do you agree? Okay, good deal. So it means you're also gonna be asked to be put to work. How about that, right? Right? We're all part of branding, okay? It's about shared experiences and shared stories. That means people are about branding a community. Attractions, sure. Buildings, historic architecture, anybody? Right, right, Karen? right? Events, art, businesses, infrastructure, everything is about it, right? I always tell people, I'm from Nashville, we have a parking garage and every floor is named after a country music legend. Of course it is, it's Nashville. Think like that. Infrastructure, public works directors, you are absolutely one of our most important brand ambassadors, right? Because you're creating the landscape of our communities, right? It's pretty important. Okay, we got that point, Steve. Move on. So once again, who should be involved in Rowan County branding? I am like Tony Robbins. Everybody, oh, you're so great. Okay, cool. All right, quickly, why is this important? Why are we doing this? Is it, is it really a big deal? Three points. We all have options when we choose where to live, work, and play. Okay, we talked about that. It also creates unity. Rowan County needs to work together. Can I get an amen? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it creates unity. If we're all working together and bragging about where we live, work, and play in the same tone, that's a good thing. It's a beautiful thing, right? So I, for, for that alone, I think it's a fantastic idea to do community branding, right? But maybe this is more important. A community's reputation will be defined by its government, its businesses, and its residents, or it will be defined by others. That hurts a little bit, because I think some of us feel that. 
I know enough to say that. Right? Other people will define it if we don't do something about it. Do you think Cheerwine ever goes, well, we're done with our branding project. Let's move on with business. Do you think they do that? Or do you think branding's always a priority for them? Do you think their reputation is always at the top of the list of what they do? Then why shouldn't it be on ours? Why shouldn't our community reputation always be at the top of the list? And no matter what we do, we have our reputation in mind. Cool? So that's a new way of thinking that's not gonna go away from Rowan County. All right, um, this is hard. Why is it hard? We don't even own our name. Who owns Rowan County? How many of your businesses actually have Rowan County in it somehow by the name? Raise your hands real high. Look at that. Look, everybody. So those are the businesses that made this meeting that all have a Rowan County name. You all don't report to each other. So, right? So, hope, but you, you're, you're, you're counting on the name to be something that lifts up your business, right? There's a lot more, okay? We don't own our name, but almost everyone shares it, right? We all live there. Number two, why this is hard. No one has control of the entire experience. Could you imagine? Respectfully, if you're in the house, Cheerwine. Could you imagine if you were to drink a bottle of Cheerwine and Cheerwine wasn't inside of it? That, unacceptable. They have complete control over their product. We don't. We don't have complete control of our product, do we? Because everybody can kind of do everything, but we all affect Rowan County's reputation, right? And number three, there's a little hierarchy of decisions and direction, right? Cheerwine, there's a top down. Food line, there's a top down. Here's what we're going to do, now go. That's tough. That's why we're here. The, my, our, if you'll notice already a ton of this, our number one objective of branding projects are to educate the community of what branding is really about. Is to educate people that it's all of our jobs and we all have to be a part of this. Right? Why? Because of this reason. There is no top down. No one can make all of you all do anything. Hopefully, we're all, you know, so how do we get everybody to sing the same song? I mean, that's why we're here today. Right, to, to understand that this is, we, are, we all have to be in this together, okay? So it's, it's a tough gig. Our process, let's move into the, to the research and talk about it. our process. This is just a model to talk about it. Uh, if you start from 12 o'clock and go around, uh, first is, is exploration. Uh, that's research results, okay? So we're going to go over that today. We've, already, we've done a lot of research. Uh, number two to three o'clock position is evaluate, try to make sense of it. Today's presentation is really about those two points, the exploration that was done and evaluating it. Uh, what's going to move next? Expressions, right? Express yourself. Um, and that means we, we start to tell our story, okay? And then engage means, that's why I said you all get, get to do, go to work. We're going to develop a plan that engages the entire community. How can everybody work into their business? Are you serious? Absolutely. You're part of branding and growing county, okay? But we're not going to talk too much about that today. Today's first two phases, explore and evaluate. Um, I want you to understand what's been done. First of all, a lot of you participated. If your name's not on this list, don't come get me. Okay, it's not a complete list. My point is, a lot of you were involved. This isn't just a uh, Steve Chandler and his merry, merry band of branding men uh, got together and came up with some ideas. No, 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 no. You all, we're, we're simply facilitators of this process. All right, uh, a lot of people were involved, so thank you very much. Right, big and small doesn't matter. Not everyone's on here. Like I said, don't come get me because your name's not on the list. <sighs> what all did we do? A lot of research has been done. Uh, 41, it's a lot of interviews with what we'll call community stakeholders, uh, a lot of leadership in the community. You would expect that we've done that, right? Uh, we have a lot of focus groups. Many of you all participated. We had almost 60 people participate in focus groups. We had uh, three online, it's misleading. We actually did online focus groups in four markets. They're just three groups, but because they're online, you could have two markets in one go. Okay. But uh, we did some online focus groups in Greensboro, Charlotte, and Winston-Salem. Uh, and I'm missing one more. Raleigh, we did one in Raleigh, that's right. Um, and uh, <laughs> this is interesting. Our objective, from a statistical, for you research people, you'll know this, um, our objective is to get 300 completed community interviews. Politically, that is, since it doesn't sound very thorough, does it? Statistically, it doesn't matter. Do you know if I had 300 interviews or 1,000 interviews, the results are about the same statistically, okay? No, but our objective is to get 300 completed interviews. We had 1,300 completed interviews from Rowan County residents. Does that tell you something about the desire to change or to the desire to get for direction, the desire to be a part of this process? I'll tell you, our company has been doing, our company's been doing this for six years. Uh, I, Greg and I both have been doing this longer than that. Uh, this is more, this, the strongest participation I've ever had with the community. I, 
I do think it speaks volumes about, uh, I mean, look at look who's here. Just talking about research? Really? I'm not even giving you a t-shirt. Come on, right? Uh, 1,300 community surveys completed, so most of you did that. Uh, thank you. Uh, we, had over, we did have over 300 uh, outside surveys, one says attitude awareness perception surveys by, by people that live in Charlotte, Winston-Salem, Greensboro, Marble. We wanted to know what outsiders think about it, so we, we spent a lot of time understanding what you think, and it's important, but does it match up with what others say about us, right? So we did that. We're going to talk about that a little bit. Uh, we kind of looked at you online a little bit. That's really important, of course, uh, and used some outside data as well. So a lot of research was done, to say the least, right? Um, Whew. So, re because reviewing research is so much fun, <laughs> here we go. Um, I'll remind you, we're reporting the news, okay? So we're gonna, if I were to, again, if I were to dissect and put a chart up of every single thing that's learned, you, every, there's so many agendas in the crowd, you'd be like, where's, where's my business? Where's bed and breakfast? I don't see a lot, right, Karen? Yeah, where's my bed and breakfast? You, so just because you're not mentioned, your business isn't mentioned, or your interest isn't mentioned, doesn't mean it wasn't, okay? Uh, at the end of this presentation, I'll actually refer to an email. So if there's any specific questions, we want you to ask. We want you to be informed, okay? For your own agenda is cool, all right? Uh, I just won't be able to address it for this group, okay? So if you have any questions, we'll give you an email where you can ask questions about it, and we'll try to follow up. And if you want to dig something up and find out, well, did someone say something about such and such? Absolutely. How important were the colleges and universities? I, I want it to be bigger than it was. For I'm using that as an example, by the way. Absolutely, they were talked about, right? So. Um, so there's, I know there's a lot of interest here, so I want to definitely help you out, okay? So cool? All right, great, awesome. Whew. Here's the way we look at it, branding truths. What are branding truths? Uh, I think that was the theme of today's presentation. What are the things, when looking through all of this research, that are undeniable about Rowan County, that if we are talking about the branding direction of Rowan County, it has to be included. It has to be. That's why it's called a branding truth, right? Um, it also means that maybe we don't always like our truths. Most of them are, by the way. Um, but we, we have to, things that we have to deal with. Okay? Um, so the branding truths are what we're going to go through. There's six of them. And these six truths are really what, no matter which piece of research you look at, it came out. It came out heavy. And it's absolutely a big part of the identity of Rowan County. Okay? So if you want to take notes, I would take notes, notes on each one of the slides where I have a branding truth. Boom. Write it down. Okay? If you're in the note-taking kind. All right? Boom, brand truth number one. And I'm gonna start with the not so fun one first. Is that okay? That way we finish on the good stuff. The community often paints a poor self-image of Rowan County. Notice I didn't say outsiders do. The community paints a poor self-image of Rowan County as a result of recent public issues. That's a marketing problem right now, isn't it? Outside perceptions of Rowan County are not as hard, by the way. In fact, they're pretty pleasant. They're pretty nice. Rowan County needs to be reminded of how great it is. All right? Everybody understand what I'm saying there? We beat ourselves up. Now, the more you know about your family, the more you know about your family's dysfunction. I think that's fair to say. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I've worked with a lot of communities where this exists, okay? I, that's the advantage. Of, we've worked with a lot of communities. And of course, they're more aware of their dysfunction than, the, than our outsiders. So that's not a surprise. It's, it's perhaps a bigger problem in Rowan County. Okay? We need to quit beating ourselves up. We asked the community, in your opinion, how do you think outsiders describe Rowan County? Can you read this slide? Because this is what the community, this is what you all said. How you think outsiders see you. Negative towards our local government, rural, backwards, crime, historic, poor, country, quaint, small town, friendly, racist. Got it. What is the biggest challenge keeping Rowan County from being great? Number one challenge that the community told us was our political challenges. Lack of focus and vision, overcoming past reputation of bad local government, resistant to change, local governments don't communicate well. Notice I'm not calling out any one, I'm not talking about one city government or county government. It's all over the place. And I'll just to paint that picture for you. First of all, does this surprise you? I know it hurts because everybody's so quiet. It's okay, that's why we're here. All right. Your number one, I'm showing you two pieces of research 
I've read the whole thing. Okay? We don't think your number one challenge is your self-image. Uh, excuse me. We, we don't think your number one challenge is local government, which our previous slide said, and, and communicating well. We think it is your self-image. I think that's, your, that's our number one challenge. Why? Because I know what's about to follow. I know how great Rowan County is. You know how great it is. It's our, we, we've got to get past that. It doesn't mean we ignore that. Please understand the difference. Absolutely. In fact, I also know enough to know that there's a lot of change going on. There's a lot of change going on, okay? I'm looking at, at a lot of politicians, so this isn't a lot of fun for me, okay? The truth is we're, make, we're, we're doing that. Do not take your foot off the pedal on that, okay? Outsiders seem pretty positive, though. Look at this. We ask outsiders on a scale of one to five, okay? One is poor, five is excellent. How well does Rowan County deliver on these attributes? Two and a half is average, right? I don't know if you all can see this chart. There's a little line. That's what we define as good, really good, really good. Sense of community is the highest one, a sense of community. Getting you all really good over here, right? Natural beauty, dining, shopping, distinct identity, memorable plays, quality attractions. I like this list. I get pretty excited about Rowan County. Let's get excited about Rowan County. Outsiders see us that way. Okay? Now, out, the outsiders that know us see us that way. Okay? Uh, we asked the question, can you describe Rowan County? You know what they say? It's a rural country place. It's historic, beautiful, and quiet. I'll take that. Whew, man. Good thing I went to the outsiders. Kind of changed things a bit, didn't it? Is that cool? Do you like that? Historic, beautiful, quiet place? I mean, that doesn't mean everything's quiet, right? But overall, that's how outsiders are seeing you. We ask outsiders again, what is the reputation of Rowan County? Oh, here it is. Oh, here it is. oh what do they say? It's a nice place to visit. Friendly people, history, heritage. I uh, don't hear any bad things about it. It's clean, good experience. Wow, oh, cool. I'll take it. 58% of the people said it was good. Only 4% said something bad. We talked to over 300 people, percent Now, I think it's worth noting, look how many people said, I don't know. It's absolutely worth noting. A lot of people do not know us. I'll take that. We can work with don't know. I mean, I'd like for them to know us, but it's better than what we expected, right? We also asked, what's the reputation of the schools? Why did I ask that question? We're aware of the change going on in schools. Is our school director here, by the way? We talked, we had, I interviewed you, yes. There's a lot of great things going on with the schools, right? I don't even talk to many schools that are actually doing live, like Skypes across the world to people to understand a European place in history. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? The internet's based around town. Everybody has a, a device. I mean, you kid, we're doing a lot of great things in our school system. Oh, but, but it's been so hard. Pretty surely outside people are thinking, no. 40% said something good. Only 5% only said anything bad, right? They must have talked to us. <laughs> now, again, a lot of people don't know. I, I understand that. A lot of people don't know about school systems that don't serve their own kids, right? I expected that. But I'm just glad that they don't, they're not thinking what we thought about it. We're close to it, okay? All right, so stop beating yourself up. Point made? All right. Brand truth number two. Rural country settings and agricultural lifestyles are strong associations with Rowan County, and you all love it. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, it better be. The <laughs> research told me that. This is really big, right? Our rural country settings. Someone pulled me aside uh, just before this started. He said, hey, i got to ask you a question. Um, <clears throat> can you tell me a little bit about what you're going to talk about today? And I'm like, why don't you sit like here and wait like everybody else does? I was like, well, I'd like to sit in the back and learn a little bit. And I said, well, and I'll say something about Salisbury. I'll get to it in a minute. I said, but, and you could tell he was, this person was like, mm -hmm. I'm like, but without the rural country lifestyle, your story's not complete. And the person was like, yes, yes. <laughs> the community told us, we asked the question, what are the three most important assets in, in Rowan County? Agriculture and the outdoors came out as one of the key assets from, from, from our stakeholders, right? Dan Nicholas Park, Parks, Patterson Farms, Lazy Five. I mean, they're pretty, it's actually a pretty deep list, okay? I had to edit it for the, today's presentation. But this was important. When we are talking about top assets of the community, there are about three or four that came up. 
All right. This was this was one of them. Right. I, um, we were talking about we talked to 1300 people. Uh, this is one of them. Right. The fact that you have access to this or you're enjoying this, depending on where you live. Right. Is a big feature of Rowan County. All right. What we also asked the community, what one or two words best describe Rowan County? Lot, lots of outdoor stuff, isn't it? Rural, agriculture, farming, outdoors, high rock life, beautiful. And I'm giving you, a, you know, a snapshot of it, okay? Um, again, to make the point, we're reporting the news. But when you describe Rowan County, and you said some other things uh, related to, uh, which we'll get to, okay? But, but one of the top areas, categories, are always related to the outdoors and the rural settings, okay? We actually ask you to rate on a scale of 1 to 10, how well does Rowan County deliver the following attributes? And we, we had a lot of attributes over the community. You know what the highest rating attribute was? The highest one over everything else? Natural beauty. So, that same person asked me, so do you think this will help uh, show a vision of preserving our rural settings? I said, that's not my job, but it sure does create the conversation. <laughs> right? This is, why, this is very important to the people of Rowan County. Uh, we ask outsiders, what, does, what makes us different than other places of North Carolina? History is really big, by the way. If there's any heritage people here, you see the role of that, right? Beauty, clean. A lot of, there's a lot of country stuff in there. A lot of rural setting stuff in there. And you're seeing the, all of it, okay? But it was a big part of it. A big part of it was understanding our, our sense of community, but our beauty, our natural beauty, our sense of place that we have with our rural settings was a big part when you look through those. Um, and even national data. I, I don't, can't get down into in short stuff on this, but um, we looked at national data based on your spending habits, uh, your U.S. Census Bureau information, you know, who you are and stuff, and your media habits, right? You know, big brother looking down at you. And it basically said that we're a community made up of southern satellites, which means it has a, uh, a cultural center in the middle of a rural area. That's what it basically means to interpret that for you, right? And then look, salt of the earth, heartland communities. It basically reveals that's what we are. We're a central city hub surrounded by rural living. Surrounded by rural living. It's very important. Our identity is defined by that, okay? Um, brand truth number three. Uh, where's my economic development folks? Robert, uh, I know from an economic development, we're talking about bringing business to town. This is <laughs> selling point number one, right? But location in the middle of the Piedmont and along I-85 position Rowan County with convenient access to the energy and business of multiple major metro centers. And here's the good part, and conveniently away from it all too. We can have as much as we want when we want and get away from it all when we want. And you know what? We happen to be in the middle of this little donut with Greensboro, Winston-Salem, and Charlotte, where all of their sprawl stops just before Rowan County. They don't get all of this. They don't get both, do they? We do. Right? That, that we, get, we can get as much of it as we want or, or get away from it all. And I think that's something that we highly value here, right? We ask the community, what are the three most important assets? Right? One of them was the rural setting, the other one was location related. Central location, access to transportation, railroad hub, airport, 85. I mean, the fact, that's a big deal, right? Again, I know from an economic development business recruitment standpoint, this is like selling point number one, right? But our location does matter. Uh, that means I-85 matters. What's along I-85? Uh, the fact that there's art, as soon as you get off a ramp, for example, that's important. Why is that there? Because of that corridor, right? And we all deal with issues in every community of our identity being along the interstate. Every community struggles with it, and by the way, continues to address it, by the way, right? But that's why that matters. Um, we enjoy the luxuries of that just as much as, you know, the, the challenges with it, okay? So, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a very big asset for you all. Um, we asked the community, Rowan County's three greatest assets for business. Said the same thing. Top two answers were location related, actually. So that's good to know. If I'm, if I'm selling economic development here, I want to know that the community sells what I sell. All right? The community is selling what uh, Rowan Works sells. That's what that tells me. So that's a good thing. All right? We ask, what do residents appreciate most? We actually gave it, in a, I don't know if you can see this table or not. What, what do you appreciate the most? Look at the highest, the highest percentage was convenient location. 
I'll leave it there a tad so you all can see the other ones for your own, for other points, right? But convenient location was the, the highest, all right? So we, we, we love our little donut that we're in. There's a lot of great things on here. There's one not so great on here. Remember, by the way, remember our brain truth number one? Everybody remember brain truth number one? We kind of beat ourselves up. You look at the bottom of this chart. Brain truth number four. The communities of Rowan County provide rural culture and heritage. It's really important to understand. One part of this, we're not, this was not just, you know, the county is made as a sum of its parts. We have a lot of communities. Uh, not just Salisbury, okay? Salisbury plays a role, we'll get to that next. But all of our communities are very important to our identity, all right? So we ask you all and ask others to tell us about your communities, okay? For the most part, it was pretty good. Uh, I, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on any one community. That would take a long time, okay? But here we go, in case you are representing specifically one of those, I want you to be ready, all right? Uh, of, what, of what we said about our community, and we'll get a good idea of that. Okay, China Grove. Any China Grove folks here? All right, here he is. Goodbye, China Grove in the house. All right. Um, two adjectives or words that best describe China Grove. The community's on the left and the outsiders are on the right. Okay? We're going to do all, most of the communities I think are going to be ready. All right? Commu China Grove is described by the community. You all say, it's friendly, nice, small town, quaint, farmer's day, Gary's barbecue. <laughs> and it must be true because I went there and I went to Gary's twice. <laughs> But I've only been to Rowan County seven times, so, right? You're getting a good percentage of my business out there. Outsiders describe it as nice, quiet, rural, country friendly. By the way, you're going to notice some themes, all right, okay? You're going to notice some themes with all these communities. So that's why we're doing it this way, okay? All right, China Grove, is that pretty good? All right. Spencer, two adjectives. Transportation Museum, or words. History, quaint, poor. That's how you describe it. Outsiders, trains, nice, friendly, fun, country living. And by the way, a little side note, Transportation Museum was mentioned as one of the top three assets that Rowan County has, right? Um, when we ask uh, people about it. So it, the train museum is a destination, which is really cool. All right, Spencer, woo, all right. Oops, I skipped one on accident. This one's got a bad one in it. The community describes faith as 4th of July. Quaint, friendly. And a bad word. It's big enough to make our list. I don't get a lot of brownie points for putting this on there. People don't really like me when I talk about that topic. Right? It's important. Outsiders, don't see it that way. That's what I want you to know. Friendly, nice, quiet, country, small town, 4th of July. Did get boring, came up quite a bit. Uh, we got to deal with us, okay, on that one. That kind of goes back to my earlier point there, right? But the 4th of July thing, when you, I mean, is there any faith people in here? Faith, faith, faith people? Any faith people that claim faith? Okay, all right. Uh, 4th of July, man, it's, that's a cool thing. To hear, to hear you all and outsiders talk about faith's 4th of July is, you know, Americana just all wrapped up in a little ball and ready to go, right? Um, it, you all get really excited about it. Um, you, but, you, but you put a butt on there, okay? So we gotta deal with that, cool? Let's deal with it. East Spencer, ah. You all really, uh, uh, this, is a, this is a sore spot for our, for our, our community and our county. I know that. Um, you see how you describe it. Everybody can see that? In the back, y'all can see that? All right. Um, outsiders came back with a little bit of it too, okay? But not as bad. Again, we're close. We're closer to it. Uh, I had someone ask me yesterday, "What do you think we need? You know, do we just need to talk about our great things, or we need to address it?" I said, "You asked the you asked the right question. You know the answer." And they did. They're, that's why they asked the question. I said, "We need we need to go right at this." I said, "Yeah, absolutely." Um, so uh, this is part of Rowan County, folks. This is, this is one of our brothers and sisters of Rowan County, so it matters, okay? All right, Granite Quarry. The community says it's nice, growing, quiet, quaint, friendly. It's a bedroom community. Any Granite Quarry people in here? 
This is how this is how Roman County describes your community. All right. Outsiders say it's fun, nice, quaint, old fashioned and simple. <laughs> you don't know how fun this is to watch you. Okay. All right. <laughs> Cleveland. Community says Freightliner. In fact, it's Freightliner, Freightliner, Freightliner. Again, I'm reporting the news, but if you look at the actual research, it's like Freightliner, Freightliner. Everybody says it's Freightliner, Freightliner and industry, right? Uh, rural country farming industrial. Outsiders say it's nice, quiet, fun, country, small town, homie. That's not great. Any Cleveland folks in here? I didn't look at you. Okay. They're all working at Freightliner. They're not getting off of this thing. They're not getting off of this. Kannapolis, growing research progressive. Progressive was really, really associated with Kannapolis, right? Old Mill Time, their heritage came through pretty strong with that. Uh, very busy. Uh, they're closer to, the, to, the, to, to Charlotte stuff, so they get a lot of that busy association. Uh, outsiders see it, uh, actually has a Charlotte suburb. Nice, busy, big textiles, fun shopping. Didn't get a lot of baseball stuff. I was like, what? Come on. I didn't get a lot of that. Rockwell, nice growing rural small town, pass through is what the, that's what the community says about Rockwell. Outsiders, nice country, beautiful, smart, and rural. Does that sound familiar? Outsiders are seeing a lot of our communities as small town, country, rural, nice, friendly people, right? Uh, Gold Hill. Uh, Gold Hill is not actually a municipality, I don't believe, but you all talk about it a lot. And outsiders actually are somewhat aware of it, uh, somewhat. Historic, it's gold, <laughs> quaint and rural, right? And outsiders think it's gold and historic too. How about that? Um, fun, nice, and country. So here's the gold hill, folks. Landis, quiet, small town, mill, nice. Outsiders see you as rural, beautiful, country, quiet, and friendly. There we go again. Got a little theme going here with our country, quiet, friendly stuff. Not all up. Again, not a, I don't think it's a municipality, but it's a, a community. All right, quiet, farming, rural, country, quiet. Then this is where uh, Lazy Ranch and Patterson is out that way, right? Am I right? Nice, awesome country fun agriculture. I think uh, because of those two attractions, I'll call them loose attractions, I actually think Mount Ola kind of registers a little bit more outside with people. More, you know, it's a little bit more distinct, right? Shows you the, the influence of someone who's actually actively marketing themselves, how it can affect a community, right? I mean, Mount Ola is not even a municipality. It probably has a stronger identity than some of our municipalities. Wouldn't you agree? So it kind of, I think this kind of proves that a little bit, okay? Um, okay, I left one out, didn't I? You notice I left one out? That's because it moves us on to Brand Truth number five. Salisbury is the cultural center of Rowan County and has the responsibility of serving the county for its social, educational, and historic values. Uh, Salisbury is absolutely that hub. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not talking, by the way, I'm not talking politics here. That's... Salisbury belongs to all of Rowan County because you, it does. Uh, this is where you all live, even if you live in Mount Ola. This is where you shop, even if you live you know, outside. It doesn't mean you can't go other places. This is where you go to enjoy things at Lee Street Theater, perhaps, or Piedmont Players. Or, um, this, this is your town. Your city, um, and Salisbury uh, has the privilege. Uh, it, it receives the benefits of all that too, doesn't it? Uh, but it has the responsibility uh, to serve all those. Uh, it is home to a greater place than just its political geographical borders. Okay, um, and so uh, that's a pretty big responsibility. But I think it's important. We talk about branding Rowan County. Salisbury's in a different place. Right? Notice we didn't give a brand truth to any one of the communities except Salisbury. It play, it, it, its role is significantly heavier than the other, the other communities. All right? That's not a surprise. Right? Um, in your opinion, what are the three most important assets in Rowan County? This is uh, actually the most mentioned responses. I've mentioned a couple others. The most mentioned responses were, uh, if you categorize them, fall under arts and culture. If you, if you create one called arts and culture and put everything related to that at, underneath it, that actually was mentioned more than anything, okay? Um, and downtown Salisbury was way up there as well, right? It's, downtown Salisbury is very important to everybody here, okay? Um, we ask, 
the community, rate the following communities, how important they are to the identity and success of Rowan County. You see the role of, this is what the community said. And you are biased by things, right? Yet you still understand its role. I think it's actually bigger than that. And I think all the, we just, I made a big deal about all the other communities, how important they are. But the role of Salisbury is really big, right? You look at the ratings, this is on a 10 point scale. Salisbury is 8.5, the next one from that is Kannapolis and then Spencer, right? Um, and the rest of them fall down from there. But the role of Salisbury, you understand the importance of it, okay? Uh, perhaps that's why brand truth number one exists. Because when there are uh, disagreements, it hurts, especially more between uh, if it's related to Salisbury. You need it. You need it. You depend on Salisbury. Okay. Um, the community was asked, "What does the city of Salisbury add to Rowan County that it would not have if Salisbury didn't exist?" Look at this list, and there's not. And you can tell we didn't edit it. There's a couple bad things on there for sure, right? But history, story of art and architecture tops the list. Where are my heritage folks again? You're going to dig that, right? Arts and culture, shopping, business, crime, vibrant, courthouses, <laughs> nightlife, city life, growth, bigger population, higher taxes, by the way, right? It goes with it. Can't have the other things and not ask for it. I get that. Salisbury is really important. This, I mean, it's very important. You wouldn't have this list with any of the other communities of Rowan County, right? Um, the community was asked, what makes Rowan County attractive to businesses? Most of the responses were Salisbury related, right? Well, it's our, it's our vibrant downtown, it's our arts and culture, it's our restaurants, it's our shopping, it's our nightlife. All right, and that's why what, if I'm gonna have businesses in town, you know, what am I gonna do with them? I, it's Salisbury, downtown Salisbury was always, you know, the answer there. Uh, we asked, what are the places you take people if you wanna leave a, a memorable and favorable impression of Rowan County? The first and most, most mentioned responses were downtown Salisbury. That's, that's good. Think about that question. Where do you take people to leave a memorable impression in, in Rowan County? First was always downtown Salisbury. Where it is arts, local restaurants, mom and pop shops, it doesn't matter, Catawba Campus, all right, apps. You know, even in Rowan County Magazine, uh, are you all here? There's a best of Rowan every year, right? You've seen the list, the best of Rowan. Did you know there's 43 categories listed in the Best of Rowan 2015? 40 of the 43 were in Salisbury. No offense to all of you who are not, who affiliate yourself outside of Salisbury, but it makes the point. The cultural significance of Salisbury is really big for Rowan County. <clears throat> we ask outsiders, which of the following communities are you aware of? Salisbury is a, is a driver, right? So I think, in, in fact, uh, you didn't see it today, but a lot of times when we talk to people in the community, they'd say, well, you know what? The identity in Rowan County and Salisbury come like this. And we, we expect that a lot of people, whatever they think of Rowan County is actually what they think of Salisbury, if they even know that Rowan County is a part of it, right? <clears throat> but yeah, 73% listed Salisbury, it drops to 52% for Kannapolis, China Grove, uh, a little higher than even I expected, uh, and then it kind of falls off after that, right? Outsiders were asked, which of the following Rowan County communities have you visited in the last three years? Where are they going, right? I mean, that kind of shows you where, what they know, right? Salisbury, Kannapolis, the rest fall off, right? Again, it just kind of reinforces the role that Salisbury has. Uh, you know, one piece of research that I get geeked out about is we actually just look at Google search, okay, as you're looking at this list. These are Google search results, the average number of search results a month, the average. Over the course of the year, the average, the average volume of times people search for Charlotte, for example, 368,000 times a month, someone's searching for Charlotte, North Carolina. A few observations on this page. Most importantly, Salisbury, North Carolina. 40,500. Actually, the second one is, notice there's a Salisbury is greater than Salisbury, North Carolina. Once again, we do not own our name, do we? There's other Salisburys out there, right? So if you narrow it down to Salisbury, North Carolina, you can see that the, the search results are actually greater than the number of search results for Rowan County, North Carolina. 
people are searching for a place that we call one of our communities, including Rowan County, there's more people searching for Salisbury than they are at Rowan County. Again, the role it has that we all depend on is pretty important. Okay. It also shows you a couple other things. Uh, I like this. There's more people searching for something related to Rowan County, North Carolina than Cabarrus County, North Carolina, for what it's worth. All right. Uh, I got a small clap yesterday about that. I don't care personally. I like Cabarrus County too. But um, right. And, it, and also, you, but you also understand the role of Salisbury, North Carolina, and we plugged in some of the other communities to see what the search results are for those. You can see those on the right. Right. I mean, they're all significantly smaller than Salisbury. Again, just pushes the point, the role that Salisbury has with, with, with the county. All right. And then lastly, brand truth number six. And you've already seen this a little bit. It came up in even some of the other research. But that is heritage and a sense of history works its way throughout Rowan County. Uh, it's, 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 it, it's, it's woven throughout everything, really. Uh, again, I think it's very fitting that we're at the Transportation Museum right now uh, for, for this point. Um, you know, we asked the community, on a scale of 1 to 10, how well does Rome County deliver the following attributes? And you're not seeing all of the answers because I'm trying to make a point about heritage here. But you can see on this scale, uh, and these were the highest attributes that you all gave to your community. We talked about entertainment. We talked about business. We talked about living, quality of life. And we talked about heritage. Heritage rate, rated the highest. Right? This is where you all are the biggest endorsers. Right? I mean, I beat you all up a little bit early on. But you know where you are very strong advocates? When you talk about heritage. When we talk to the community, you all know, you know what, heritage is big here, history is big here. Look at the architecture in downtown in Salisbury, right? I mean, you've got historic Gold Hill. You got, it even goes into some of the communities a little bit, right? So it's really important, okay? Place that preserves its history, compelling history to share, opportunities to learn, you all rate them very, very, very high, okay? Again, I'll tell you, just do this with other communities, anything over about a six and a half, up to seven, over seven is really good, okay? So that's why this really stands out to us, maybe more so than you, because we see this with other communities. This is very high, okay? We asked the community, what makes you most proud of Rowan County? History and heritage was listed the most. The question was, what makes you most proud of Rowan County? History or heritage related answers were listed the most. So, so not only are you aware of it, you're pretty proud of it. That's important with this assignment. We need to tap into community pride a little bit, right? Right? So I look, that question is pretty important, right? Whether it's architecture, your stories, Civil War, you've got ties with that as well, Transportation Museum, some of your sites. I mean, you, you've got a, a great story to tell there for sure. Um, we ask outsiders what makes Rowan County different or what distinguishes Rowan County from other counties. History, North Carolina, Transportation Museum, and historic sites were probably the most listed answers. What makes you most distinct? Isn't that kind of what we're about? what we're talking about here, right? I put this quote, it's so beautiful and natural and preserves its history so well. Huh, see, that's what someone else said about it. It's one quote, but I like it, right? So, let me summarize. If you didn't, if you didn't take notes fast enough, you get one more chance, and these are shorter than the ones I just gave you. Brand truth number one. Oh, you get both of them. The community's poor self-image. The community has a poor self-image, but outsiders are pretty complimentary. Number two, rural country settings and agricultural lifestyles. Number three, location allows access to all you want or to get away from it all. Four, the communities of Rowan County give it a variety of cultural and quaint small town experiences. I think it's really important. A lot of times the word culture only gets associated with Salisbury. Oh, there's a lot of culture in our countryside too. Culture is in both. And you get both of those here. Five, Salisbury is the cultural center of Rowan County for social, educational, and historic values. And lastly, heritage is highly valued and noticeable. These are our brand truths, right? You go through all the research. You're like, Steve, you could have just shown us this slide and saved us a lot of time. But the story wouldn't have been as good as that one there. It wouldn't have been as entertaining, right? These are the brand truths of Rowan County. This is what, as we move forward, we have to factor these things in, okay? How are we going to do that? Uh, I'm going to skip over this. This is really fun, but I'm going to skip over it. I'm going to make a point as I stick these on up here. Though. Um, I, I, we, early on, I talked about the experiences. Branding a community is about experiences, right? And so I like to kind of throw away the marketing textbook and the branding speak. And let's just talk about what experiences really are. We learned this when we were five years old. It's the five senses, right? We, we, you don't, 
put logos and stuff on Facebook. You put pictures of places where you eat. That's why food is so popular on Facebook and Pinterest, right? You brag about the places that you ate, the things that you did. We went ziplining. We did this. We petted some animals. Uh, yes. Um, right? I mean, where you walk, things that you smell. There's actually been research done of uh, companies that purposefully used the senses in their marketing and branding of how memorable it was. And, it showed the more, and the more you can do this, I'm talking about your own businesses just temporarily, okay? The more you can incorporate senses into your own marketing, it makes the experience more memorable for your guest. Go to hotels where all of a sudden they got fresh baked cookies in the front, right? Right? I mean, so think of, just apply that to your own business. A little small tip there. Okay? We filled in the blanks. This isn't meant to be complete. I know you can't see it real big. Um, and it takes me too much time to break it down too much. Okay? But we just kind of filled in the blanks because in all of our research, you didn't see it today, but in every bit of our research, we asked you all, both in our interviews and our focus groups, our community survey, when we went outside, we asked people, what are the senses of Rowan County? And what I want to tell you is if you start to fill in the, start to do that for yourself, that's branding. That's branding. We want to create a memorable experience. If you want to think, how can I get involved in this branding with where we're going? I don't, I don't care if you stick a logo on your storefront window. I mean, that's cool. But how, do, how can you help build your business using one of these? You don't have to change everything. But what are the sites? What are the things that you see in Rowan County? Downtown Salisbury, the park, transportation museum. You've got a lot of unique places to go, to, just that you see. That are sites of it. That's why the historical architecture is so big, because it's so visual, right? That's why preserving those assets are so important. That's why preserving our countryside is so important, right? What do you hear? What are the sounds? What is the sound of Rowan County? How about a train? Right? I can associate that with about three or four communities. Heck, most of them the train runs through, I think. Right? Including Great Heritage in East Spencer, by the way. Okay? Um, but the train. On cue, it was perfect. And I, I, it's amazing my timing is impeccable. So, what are the, what, feeling something is a, is very sensory. It's not just with your hands. It could be your bottom. It could be your feet. It could be chills on your neck, right? Um, yeah, I, my, my favorite sensory is uh, we have a lake. Don't we have a lake? What if someone caught their first fish? I'll never forget where I was and how old my son was when he caught his first fish. That's a moment I'll never forget. Why not tie that moment to your community, right? I mean, all you can do is give a certificate for your first fish, and we'll never forget High Rock Lake, okay? All right? Taste, you all have a lot of taste. You have big brands associated with taste here. So that's an opportunity for you, right? And of course, there's smells, right? Well, the number one smell we have from you all was the countryside, right? And all that goes with it. So there's a lot of senses. When you start thinking about branding Rowan County, there's a lot of senses that you can activate and leave memorable impressions with people, okay? Again, this is not to me a complete list. I didn't put you on there. It doesn't mean you're not important, okay? All right. Uh, our strategy is position Rowan County as both culturally cool and small town ruled. It's not a tagline. It's just a direction. Position Rowan County as both culturally cool and small town ruled. And absolutely, it's a relief from these larger metros that we're a donut in the middle of because they can't do both of those things. The other, those other metros can't do this. Everybody else is affected by sprawl, not us. It's a place that has plenty of art, historic landscape, and social scene. It's also a place that still values space, heritage, and connections. Isn't that the point of all these small towns? It's being connected with one another. That's why we all need to work together. Does that make sense? Get some head done, pretty much. All right. Now, we're going to create a platform, and this is really what we launch off of going to the rest of the, re of the branding project, right? Our platform is, a, is kind of a singular statement, if you want to call it that, um, that's a, that captures everything we've discussed today, right? It's kind of a difficult little task, but we, we're going to take a stab at it and give you our recommendation here. How we boil all those brand truths down to one thing that says about us. I want to give you the architecture of it, and then I'm going to reveal it to you, okay? Surprise all right, all right. We look at a target. We're not buying media, so I'm not looking at women 35 plus, right? I look for who who is most likely looking for what you can deliver, right? In other words, there's a lot of people that want all of the mess that goes with downtown Charlotte. Rowan County is not for them. Is that okay? It's not for them. So what, right? 
Some of those people are going to get sick of it eventually, and they're going to go, oh, really? A cow would be great. Okay? So who's looking for what, who's most likely looking for what you can deliver? Okay? Where do you compete? Not worried about a community that's kind of like us in Northern California. Okay? Where do we compete? Our promise, when people talk branding, they usually zone in on the promise, right? That is, what can Rowan County promise to deliver better than anyone else? And the benefit, of course, is how does that promise make people feel? Okay? So that's, that's our architectural model of how we just construct a brand promise. So here's our recommended brand platform for Rowan County. Here we go. Rowan County, North Carolina brand platform. Our target for people seeking a country setting with a dynamic cultural heart. Rowan County is conveniently centered in the prosperous North Carolina Piedmont region, where life includes a historic cultural center and the flavorful charm of rural communities. The benefit of that is so you always have choices on the kind of experience you want and the pace of your day. I'm going to let you stare at that while I take a drink of water. Where life includes a historic cultural center and the flavorful charm of rural communities. Sure, there's historic Salisbury. It's the biggest cultural center that's a part of Rowan County. Reality is, you have a lot of historic cultural centers here. It depends on where you are. Like the role of Salisbury is big, but you notice we didn't put Salisbury in your brand platform. It's implied with the historic cultural center, but for some people, that historic cultural center is actually Gold Hill. Some of it, it may be Spencer. It may be your backyard. Uh, if you're Morgan Ridge, that is your cultural center. For some of you, it's Charlotte or Greensboro. You can access all you want, when you want, and get away from it all when you want. That's kind of the nice thing about Rowan County. But it also allows you, so it's beautiful farmland, quiet countryside, it means you're tight knit, it means you've got rural settings, it means you're filled with small towns, right? So there's a lot of, of cultural centers in Rowan County. There's one big one, of course. And the flavorful charm of rural communities. All those communities help us. And if we're going to move forward with Rowan County, we are. We need to make sure that it's not just the story of Salisbury. As much as, as, much as I put it up on a pedestal, and it, needs, it, it, it stands out, and we have to recognize that, that alone doesn't complete our story. It's the flavorful community, charm of our, local, of our communities. It's why every one of our communities matters, right? So we, we've got to realize that uh, we need to get our flavor folks in here, right? Get the cherry wine folks, maybe part of our branding task force, right? Or food line, right? But every one of our communities adds a little bit of flavor that makes Rowan County what it is, okay? And I think that's really important. Um, so you always have choices on the kind of experience you want and the pace of your day. That's what you all love about it. I mean, if you look at our research, what it says, you can enjoy theater, symphony, ballet, museums, galleries, festivals, live music parades. You can do all that stuff right here in Rowan County. You, have to go, you can go outside and get it too, but you can get it all right here. You get a vibrant downtown. You get colleges. You have four. We have four colleges and universities here. We're well aware of you. I know it didn't come up a lot in today's presentation. We're, we are well aware of you. You are a big part of the cultural dynamic of Rowan County. I promise you, okay? Um, but you also have things like the North Carolina Transportation Museum, the Dan Nicholas Park. You know, I think it's interesting. I think the word park with Dan Nicholas Park is almost <laughs> not saying what it is, right? That's a pretty grand place. Patterson Farms, Lazy Five Ranch, Tiger Water. You're not getting those things in Charlotte. High Rock Lake, agriculture, farmland. You all have choices here. How big do you want to go? You can go there. How far, how much do you want to get away? You can go there. You control your pace in Rowan County. We can go as fast as we want or as slow as we want. I think that's pretty fantastic, right? So that's our recommended platform. Um, who can apply this brand platform? For starters, anyone that's selling Rowan County. There's a lot of people that sell Rowan County. Any realtors in the house? Hi. Hey. Copa Java lady. Realtors sell Rowan County every single day. Truth is, they also, some of them sell other counties, by the way. 
I need to make sure, we need to make sure they're on board with this, right? Know what's so great about Rowan County. Tourism, of course, if you're in the tourism industry, not just CBB folks, you're still in Rowan County every day. Chamber of Commerce, of course. Healthcare, healthcare folks here. You would, you would, you had, you had, great healthcare is about great physicians and great care. Yeah, we need great equipment too. How do you get a great physician here? You gotta sell them on the place. You can't sell a physician on the place, you don't get the physician. I think that's how it works, right? Business recruitment, talent recruitment, you need great employees, you gotta sell them on this is the place they need to live. Retaining people, retirement recruitment. I've had two meetings at your retirement place, so I know that's, right? I mean, anybody that's selling Rowan County, that's a small list, just an easy one. That, that's who should be thinking about this platform. Wait a second, that's exactly what I'm selling, right? I get this juxtaposition of country, right? I get this, this culturally cool place and, and this really culturally rural place, and both of them matter. Both of them are part of our story, right? How can this platform be used? Well, advertising. Advertising can be developed from it. We'll actually develop some advertising from that platform. Uh, sales program and promotional themes, right? Chamber of Commerce folks. You right, we got, I know we have ribbon cutting ceremonies and things that most of our chambers do. Maybe we can actually theme them a little bit differently. So everything we do, remember our early definition? A purposeful orchestration of everything you do to positively affect what others are saying. So maybe we take the things that are mundane and just kind of normal that everyone does. What if we said, wait a second, how can I do that a little different? You don't believe me? There's an ice cream shop in Dublin, Ohio Dublin, Ohio, without giving you the whole spiel of their brand. Irish is an attitude there, got it? Uh, they don't have one redhead person that lives there, by the way. Uh, but the ice cream person said in this group and went, I can do that. They didn't change, I don't know what the name of their local ice cream shop was, but I know what their number one selling item is now, the Irish float. Why? You can get ice cream anywhere, but guests love to have green ice cream. They think it's cool. It's novelty. You know what? That person found a way to take the branding, as simple as that is. I like to use it because it's so simple. They found a way to take, take the branding of their place and build their business. Isn't, isn't that what this is about? Right? Okay? So, yes, product development can happen. Right? Design themes. Yeah, it can affect that. You know, if you all were in some of our earlier meetings, I showed you a bunch of logos for all these organizations all over Nashville. None of them were the same logos, but all of them in one way said Music City, right? So it's not about everybody being exact copycats and everything. You have your own brands you have to build, okay? But design things can be affected by messaging, right? So when we talk about ourselves, let's talk about it purposefully that talks about the aesthetics and the environment and the lifestyle of Rowan County. We got that? Cool? All right. So. That's our, um, that's our presentation of it. I'm gonna go back to that platform because it's so important. But what's next? I wanna make sure you understand what's next. Right, we just explore, finished exploration and, and evaluating, right? We landed on kind of a platform. Where we're going next is, is to develop messaging, is to express ourselves, and then a plan to engage the whole community. That's what's next with this project, which means you get to see me again to go through this stuff. Um, I'm getting attached because I've been here a bunch now. The people at the front desk uh, at the hotels know me. That, that is, that's kind of where we're going. Again, if there's any questions on the research, I know many of you will, send an email to, uh, Tara's is the correct email, can you double check me? Okay, brandingrowancountync.com. So if you have any questions you have about, about the research or even I mean, anything about this project, brandingrowancountync.com, send an email to that, all right? And as you leave, I'm going back to this baby right here. For people seeking a country setting with a dynamic cultural heart. If you're not looking for that, this isn't the place for you. But boy, that's pretty good stuff there. People who want that. Rowan County is conveniently centered in the prosperous North Carolina Piedmont region, where life includes a historic cultural center and the flavorful charm of rural communities. The benefits, so you always have choices on the kind of experience you want and the pace of your day. What do you think? It's not... I believe this allows us, now the, goal, the catchy thing that you all, some of you are like, I hope he shows us a cool tagline or something like that today. You know what, themes, messaging will be developed with this direction, okay? They will be de developed for this direction. But again, I wanna challenge you now to be thinking about your own business. How can, I, how can I take that and how does it make my business better? And do it, don't wait on James or anyone else to tell you, just do it, okay? This is who we are. Thank you very much for your time and being very hospitable to us and our team, thank you. Thank you.